In today's video, if you guys want to see how I created this fall tiered tray, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I pull out all of my pieces that I need for this tiered tray and I love the fact that it comes with all of the pieces. Now, unfortunately, you do have to purchase all of these separately. So the tiered tray is a, a separate item. The three transfers are each a separate item and then the packages of the little embellishments are also, or the little decorations that you can chalk on are also separate items. So I pull my tiered tray out of the box and there's a coordinating transfer for that. So I cut that apart and start with the top. I transfer on half of it with my jade chalk paste. And when I pull back that amazing image, that's the beauty of Chalk Couture. It literally takes not even five minutes to get such a high-end look and anybody can do it you guys my six-year-old has been chalking since she was four years old and it only took her about two tries so I know if she can do it you guys can do it as well that is the beauty of this and that's what I love most so what I'm using here is called a fuzzing cloth and what that does is puts a little bit of fuzz behind your transfer that way when you lay your transfer down on the surface and you pull it up it's not going to stretch or ruin your transfer. I also love the fact for transfers like this where you use it um, you transfer on half and then do the other half it has the little watermarks on it so you know that you get it in the right spot once my greenery was transferred on to the tiered tray then i put that together and set it aside and it does come with directions on how to put it together so we're going to start off with the leaves and that has a coordinating transfer with it so i pull the leaves out of the package and i wanted a watercolor look behind the transferred image so all i did was just sprayed a little bit of water on one of the leaves and then dip my paintbrush in the chalk paste that i wanted to use i then just kind of dry brushed that over the wet leaf until i liked the effect and dried that i also did the same exact thing with the pumpkin and for the acorn i transferred on the top of the acorn with my bark chalk paste and the bottom with my gold chalk paste. Now for the leaf, I transferred on the leaf's image with my white paste and for the pumpkin, I transferred that image on with my gold chalk paste. Now the other thing that I love is with Chalk Couture, you can choose to buy the jars, which these jars of paste last a long time. You can paint with them. There's so many different things you can do um, and that's what I love the most. It lasts a long time, but you can also buy packets of paste if you don't want an entire jar. For the next part, I pull out all of the little decorations out of the decoration package. And I wanted to show you guys how you can paint with chalk paste. All you have to do is put a little bit of chalk paste in a container. Again, add some water until you get a paint-like consistency. So I used my ocean mist. Now you'll see here in a minute that I end up painting over that. I just didn't like the color combo. But for the one side, I used, I don't know what this is called but I know it's an apple barrel um, like orange paint and that was just a little too bright for me as well so I mixed a little bit of white with that and I painted half of the faux book stack with my orange the middle part I went in with that ocean mist at first and that is obviously my chalk paste um, paint concoction if you will and then for the third side I used this Arteza gold color and it was like a mustardy color and again that was just a little too bright for me as well so I added some white to that to tone that down and painted the third side of my book stack with that color. Now once again like I said I ended up changing that ocean mist blue color to moss waverly chalk paint color um, in a bit. I did not get a clip of that, but I did cut up the transfer that coordinates with all of the little um, decorations, and I dry brushed my book stack with my 
Cashew Waverly chalk paint. To finish this book stack up, all I did was glue down a piece of jute, wrap that around the left side a few times, cut that off, and then glued it to the bottom. And then I just add a few little embellishments like some greenery and these little pumpkins. I also forgot to mention that I did transfer on the wording to my book stack and then <laughs> set that aside. Once I was done with the book stack, then I went in with the autumn vibes transfer onto my little rolling pin. And once that transfer was dried, I went in with my white Waverly chalk paint to clean up that wording a little bit. If you go to pull up your transfer too quickly, that's when you're going to have bleeding. That's when you're going to have issues. So make sure your paste is stirred really well. Make sure that you are applying even pressure, not too hard, not too soft. And then when you pull up your transfer, make sure that you're pulling it up evenly and slowly so that you don't get any bleeding. So I put a little jute bow onto my rolling pin, which was super duper easy. Set that aside. And then for my mini board and base, you guys, how stinking cute is this board and base? We actually have a bigger version of this in white and black on my chalk site. So I will leave all of these um, items in a cart for you guys in the pinned comment as well as in the description box below. And you can add and subtract from this cart as you like. I also recommend to grab board erasers, a squeegee, and possibly a fuzzing cloth. That's optional. You can use your clothes, but I just like mine because I can wash it if I can get or if I get chalk paste on it. So anyway, I figured that I would mention that and I will show you guys here in just a second how to wash your transfers as well. But I just went in and finished all of the little decorations. That's the beauty of this, you guys. You can customize this to suit your decor, your colors, um, all that good stuff. So definitely something in here for everybody. To finish this project up, I transferred on this little wagon onto the cutting board and instead of the apples, I used the pumpkins and then I transferred on farm fresh pumpkins to the top and ended that with a bow and a little bit of greenery as well. And look how stinking cute all of these little pieces are. Um, again, you can reuse these transfers as long as you take care of them. Now, don't forget to wash them like me and then you have to scrub them with with a scrub brush. <laughs> if you wash them right away, then um, just water and your um, board eraser will do. That is the round sponge that kind of looks like a um, magic eraser, but it just doesn't have the chemicals in it. All in all, this tear tray took me about 30 minutes to put together, 30 to 45 minutes, and I could not be more satisfied with the way that it turned out. I absolutely love all the little pieces, all the colors just mesh so well together, and again, that's the beauty. You can change this up to suit your decor. So once again, um, if you guys didn't know, right now, you can get the same discount on Chalkator products that I get at 40% off um, if you just check the pin comment as well as the slide on the last uh, the last slide on this video I will leave my text number just text me the word chalk and I will send you guys all that information so let me know down in the comments which part of this tear tray is your favorite and now I'm going to show you guys how to clean your transfers Okay, now I know this is in the wrong format. I thought it was in the right format, but all you're gonna do is take your transfers to your sink. Now, again, don't be stupid like me and let yours sit. I forgot, I forgot to take them in after each use and wash them. It's a little hard to run back and forth from the shed, but no big deal. All I did was take my scrub brush and warm water and lightly just scrub the dried up paste off of them. Now you don't want to use too much force because you can um, like stretch your transfer or mess up the mesh um, that makes it a transfer. I know I get a lot of comments like, oh, that's a silk screen, but I don't know. We call them transfers. 
<laughs> so anyway, silk screen transfer, whatever you would like to call it, you just want to lightly brush off your chalk paste. Then once you have the majority of your chalk paste off of it, and you want to do this under running water, then I flip it over and use my uh, board eraser, which is that round, um, that round sponge like I was talking about. And I just wipe in one direction under running water again, and then flip it over and wipe the rest and you should have a clean transfer. Don't worry about it. If it's stained, it still works as long as you um, don't see any of the chalk paste through the screen, you're good to go. Um, I also recommend to hang them up to dry or lay them sticky side up on a paper towel and then wipe off the excess water with another paper towel and let them air dry and then stick them back to your backing sheet and once again you can use these over and over so i hope this helps you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments which little decoration was your favorite will you guys be purchasing these items you can just purchase one part um, it's totally up to you. Like I said, through this cart link, you can add and subtract to your cart. So with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. Girlfriend, if nobody has told you today, your hair looks stunning. And you are worthy. You can do anything you set your mind to. I love you guys so much. If you need any chalk or ketone info, or if you just want to be a part of the text crew, text my number at 302-204-0881 and just be patient with me. I don't answer them right away, but I do answer them. I'm a busy mama, so just be patient with me. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to do all the youtube -y things. Hit that thumbs up. Share this out. Um, I have a big goal of 100K by October, and I know we can do it together. So thank you guys so much. I love you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload, or join the DIY fam here to your right.